Well, Montgomery County, uh, when I started 25 years ago, was, was mostly a rural county with a little bit of a suburban vibe to it. Uh, in those 25 years, it's transformed into a, an extremely suburban county with some rural feeling about it. Uh, we're not the sleepy little town anymore. We have very complicated crimes that we deal with. When the Real-Time Crime Center came along, we consolidated those analysts, and we also put them in the same room with one another and allowed them to respond to calls in progress for the patrol deputies and work on the intelligence packets for the detectives. Prior to the Real-Time Crime Center, we might find ourselves at times are requesting that information after we've already made scene and vital details about a subject or what he's already been handled for or what his previous convictions may have been. Dispatch is getting information about weapons and the subject in question has got violent tendencies. It helps us mentally prepare ourselves to have the confidence we need when we arrive to execute efficiently. Before the Real-Time Crime Center existed, it would, it would take me half of a day to try to research a suspect, to look them up in multiple databases and they're able as a team to combine all that together and get it back to you in hours. I was able to develop a suspect right on the scene before I even left with the help of the Real Time Crime Center. I was blessed to, to bring on Captain McKelvey uh, at, as a sergeant at the time and he was uh, an integral component in standing up the Real Time Crime Center in Harris County. He knew that AWARE was something that we had to do to be able to, to make this work. I selected Command Aware because it did combine the primary things that we need. It's a, it's a great foundational piece of software. It ties in the CAD, RMS, video, and radio systems. It can do all of that in one function. So the analyst can simply look at Command Aware and half their job, which is finding things to provide intelligence for, is done. Everything is all in one place. I can see my calls coming in, I can read my call notes, I can use the map to see where, where a specific call is, where my units are, and it integrates the radios as well. If I need to focus on a specific channel, there is no changing screens, everything is right there. I do believe the RTCC is a benefit to the community for the simple fact we do the research behind the scenes, feed that information to the officers, and they, they are out on the streets longer. When you're en route to a, an important call and the information is being provided to you in a timely manner, it's such an asset. It is such an asset. I believe that the Real-Time Crime Center helps victims from being re-victimized. Instead of taking three or four or five days for other agencies to get information or get data back to you, you're able to get it back in 30 minutes to an hour with just utilizing them both at the same time. Technology is not, is not something that we're waiting to, to incorporate into law enforcement. It's here, and we have to take advantage of it. People are understanding that we are being more effective, more efficient at a higher rate than we used to be in the past. And I attribute a lot of that to the fact that we're getting data in real time. Being able to wake up day in and day out to serve the community of Montgomery County and assist those victims, assist those who've been hurt and try and make them whole again is very rewarding.